everybody, if you watch this channel any period of time, you realize a couple of things. One, I love Star Wars. Star Wars for sure. Two, I love Marvel, love comic books. Three, I love the New York Mets. I mean, I love the New York Mets. Life revolves around the New York Mets when it's baseball season. So very happy that baseball is back, albeit stadiums being empty. Um, but more often than not, as far as headgear goes and clothing, probably 50% of the time is related to New York Mets. And I am used to losing. And you guys can cue the, the womp womp, you know, loser music for liking the New York Mets. And that's perfectly fine. Uh, Mary's in the other room, but she can confirm. Where was the number one spot that I wanted to have my ashes spread when I die? Chase Stadium. Well, now in the parking lot. So, there you go. Um, as part of Loving the New York Mets, there is a hardcore New York Mets fan group uh, called the Seven Line. If you guys don't know what the Seven Line is, it's essentially the subway uh, line that runs from Flushing into uh, Grand Central and Times Square um, in New York City. The Seven Line runs past uh, Shea Stadium, now runs past City Field. But the, the fan group created a really cool thing um, that um, I hinted that I wanted um, very much. I really will say that I want something out loud to Mary. Uh, but she picked it up and uh, it was delivered yesterday. So I've been dying to get into this thing. And it's, it's really surreal because... Um, it's not. Yeah. Okay. Mary likes the Mets too, so she ordered herself something for herself. Um, this is what came in the mail. So check it out. Um, if you are familiar with the New York Mets, when they hit a home run, the magic apple goes up uh, in the outfield. Um, this is something I carried over from Shea Stadium uh, from the 80s that they introduced the Apple. Um, Seven Line had this ingenious idea to make an inflatable Apple. Um, and I'm not sure how often I'm going to use this on my front lawn, but I can say it'll definitely be up for parties and things when we're back to normal from COVID times out in the backyard. But... I can't wait to inflate this thing and not inflate it outside because it's just done pouring outside at this point. I don't want to ruin my new big apple. But let's take a look at this. This is really hefty too, so it's probably like a good seven pounds or something. Um, it's got stakes to put in the ground. And. We've got an apple in the bag. This thing, uh, Mary bought this for me for Father's Day, and it's shipped already. It wasn't supposed to ship until September. Um, unfortunately, we don't see a lot of home runs this year, so we're not getting a lot of apples. But Pete Alonzo, I'm looking at you. Let's uh, test this out in the living room, shall we? It's alive! It's got a fan built into it, so it's blowing itself up right now. Oh my god, it's so exciting! I would put this outside the house like at Christmas time and have this as my Christmas decoration, but quite honestly, people steal our decorations in our neighborhood, so I want the Mets to stay part of my house and not be on like Craigslist for somebody else to buy. Well, like a few minutes in, and it's a very deflated apple. Much like the Mets season this year. Well, this is more than 10 minutes in. What's taking forever is this uh, magic hat on the bottom. There's one blower for all of this. I can't wait to see it finally in full apple form. And there it is. Seven feet tall. Home run. Oh my God. I love it, sweetie! <laughs> this thing is gigantic. Definitely needs to go outside. It doesn't even fit in the living room. You can't even watch the Met game with this thing on. I mean, we could, but that means you can't watch with me. I'm gonna take you over the apple. At least for a little while.
Oh, we unplugged it, now it's dying, just like the Mets pitching roster. <laughs> Alright, something on a completely different note arrived while we were in Tennessee, and I was anxious to get this. It wasn't supposed to get to us by in, until, I think, um, like September, October time period, but got here a little bit early from Hasbro Pulse. We've got the Deadpool head, basically. It's just his head. The body is not included. Um, Deadpool head. His mouth moves. Uh, he has like 600 different things that he says. He's app enabled. Uh, just what you want out of any head. Uh, you can. He reacts as you uh, shake him around and everything and all kinds of good stuff. The box is actually pretty awesome. The box looks like it was shipped to you with a label on it. This is actually just graphic on the box, but you can see it was Wade Wilson, once upon a time, see up there? So in any event, let's get this guy opened. Um, Deadpool's head takes batteries, so we just had to dig batteries, because unusually uh, it takes four C batteries, like, I, I'm not sure like what else takes C these days, so... Kind of odd, you know. I guess it's better than taking like 16 double A's. Let's get this guy opened up. Got instructions. Put that aside. The packaging, and oh my God, it actually feels like you're taking somebody's head out of this box. He is um, apparently like tied to the bottom piece of cardboard in here. So. Wow. He's really tied down. Let me get this open. All right, so we got him out of the box um, and put the batteries in down below. And down below here, there's actually a little like button that I'm sure uh, registers whether he's sitting on a shelf or he is uh, airborne. So we're going to do our first turning on. Hey there, newbie. I know what you're thinking. How in the <laughs> did Bo Hunk Wade Wilson lose his body? I'll save you the back issue nosedive and just say this. Never surprise Wolverine with a back rub. Not even on his birthday. Flash forward to now. So, what's your name anyway? Kyle? I heard Bob. Uh, Pleasure to meet you, Bob. Look, Bob, just because I don't have a body doesn't mean we can't have some eyes. fun. You can pick me up, shake me, smack me up, flip me, and <laughs> rub me down. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Faster! Faster! <laughs> when you turn it upside down. I don't want to alarm you, but the whole <laughs> is upside down. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> All right, so Am I, I in the, the microwave? Bottom. Bob, <laughs> I'm not a mac and cheese. Now it's like he's on a shelf. So if I move my finger and remove this... Hate to break piece. it to you, nerd lord, oh but I'm just a toy. I have no idea what you're saying. Or do I? It's, <laughs> it's hearing me. All right, I moved the... Wow! I don't know why, but I feel like you put me on a stack of used Marvel swimsuit issues. <laughs> All right, so I downloaded uh, the app for Deadpool, uh, which is just called... Hey, Bob. It's time for a little talk therapy. It's literally called Take Deadpool's Take a deep time. breath, relax, tell me, what is your earliest memory? Hmm. <laughs> Loading. What, you got nothing for me? <sighs> Forget it, buddy. So we're going to press his red Bluetooth 
See? Ooh. He's connected. Oh, you're using my app. See anything you like? You can make him do stuff, make him say stuff. Let's see if we make him do something. What is thy bidding, mouth master? You can do different pranks. We'll put him in bed or in the bathroom, in the fridge. Or we can make him say things. Go ahead. Use my mouth to open the door. So, how about a joke? I've known Colossus since he was a wee anvil. I like my X-Men with big guns and full pouches. It just looks amazing. The way the eyes move and the mouth. It looks like the mouth is, is in there. Let's see. Let's do a selfie thing. Jeez! <laughs> a threat? So help me, Bob. I will in your litter box. Greetings? Hi, I'm Deadpool's head. Not to be confused with Headpool, different guy. There you have it. So this is uh, Deadpool's head. I'm not sure if you'll see Deadpool's head in stores. He is available on Hasbro Pulse. I did pay for Deadpool's head. Um, oh, I forgot. I gotta take Squirrelpool out of the blender. <laughs> there you go. He's not ready to You! Play. Holy I'll be a censored. <laughs> All right, let's get Deadpool off for a moment. So Deadpool um, off. I want to say Deadpool runs a uh, hundred bucks. I think it's a hundred bucks for a pretty, you know. Pretty awesome animatronic head that has a lot of articulation in the mouth and nose and eyes and everything. If you guys haven't seen before, this is what we're looking at for uh, Marvel stuff, you know, Toy Story stuff and Ghostbusters, but uh, we got a lot of Marvel, a lot of Marvel and some DC, um, but a lot of Marvel. So we've got a couple of helmets up there. Deadpool's head will be joining the uh, Marvel helmets. And last but not least, what came in the mail, um, we got a care package from uh, Jim and Holly from Broadsword Comics. If you guys didn't see this video from about a month ago, I'll link it up here somewhere where uh, we're actually in um, one of their comics, Raven Hex. And the goodie package that they sent us is literally like all of... <laughs> I'm, I'm always stunned, like, generosity of, of folks, so... Um, we've got a ton of covers here that we can go through and show you guys. So here we go. I'll put it in front of my face so you can see. Raven Hex, uh, 122, number one, Jim Bell, Holly, to Calamary, thanks for dying to get in the comic. This was such a really cool experience. I am still stunned, absolutely stunned, that we have really, really talented friends and just allows, the channel has allowed us to be in um, really incredible situations. So again, here we are in case you missed us. And, uh, you know, that's before we meet uh, a little bit of an untimely demise. So we've got this cover. Um, we have stuff falling. We have this cover. As uh, Jim says, it's covered for your protection, not mine. And the cosplayer photo cover. That. Um, another cover. And 
the cover. And another cover. I think that's it. So, um, lots of goodness. I'm, I'm truly blessed to have amazing friends. So, and by the way, this also came uh, after we shot the interview with um, Jim and Holly. Um, this is Jim's version of Catwoman when he drew for DC. So we'll tie this all out with comic-y. comic -y, book -y things. I don't know what I'm saying. So, oh, and this one last thing too from the Kickstarter that we did with, or we, we paid for for um, Jim and Holly for the comic also. This was uh, drawn for Jess. So it's Jar Jar Banks in the bikini. And we're looking for a frame to fit this. So we're gonna put that frame and just will cherish it close to our heart in a frame where it doesn't get wrecked. So it's been packed away in comics so far. So cool. So that's it. Uh, a, a giant home run apple, Deadpool's head, and comics where we die. So that's going to do it uh, for us for today and for our mail call. And uh, we'll be back again soon. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.